Okay, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into our next topic, which is um, solving systems of equations. And this video is just going to walk you through what are the three what are the three possible outcomes of the solutions, and what do those solutions look like when we're solving. So there's three possible outcomes, right? If you think about a coordinate grid. Um, and you think about the possible ways that, that lines can cross. Um, first, my head zoomed in too much, but first, they can cross, right? They can cross and intersect. And then this is what we would call a solution. But what else could happen, right? If you think about two lines on the same grid, what are the possible outcomes? Well, most of the time it's going to be this, but sometimes, they might never cross. What happens if they're parallel? We've talked about that before, right? So they could be parallel. And then the third option is really kind of hard to think about, but what if you graph one line and then you graph the other line right on top of it? And so they're actually the same line, right? Different equations to represent the same line. So that's what we're gonna look at first, right? So there are three possible outcomes. Um, the most common outcome is when they cross, right? Two lines are going to cross. Um, they cross at a point of intersection, which we're gonna identify as the point, right? X, Y. This means for the, the solution of the system that there is one solution to the system. That means the point of it intersection, they cross and intersect at one point. That means there is one solution, right? If they happen to never cross, right, then the lines are parallel. Well, if crossing implies the number of solutions, then if they never cross, then there are zero solutions when the lines are parallel. Right? So there are zero solutions. These are parallel lines. They never intersect. So we will not have a solution, right? In fact, the answer would be there is no solution. And the third, the third option we showed was what happens if I graph the line and they graph on top of each other? So notice the purple or blue line is there and then the red line is on top of that, right? So what happens there? Well, again, if the solution is where do they cross, well, these lines cross everywhere, right? They, in fact, they, they cross at all points on the line, which means there is an infinite number of solutions, right? So you can use the infinity symbol. You can type infinite, right? There's an infinite number of solutions there. It means they intersect everywhere and that when I look at the graph, they're physically the same line. So to identify solutions to a system, we're looking for where do the lines cross? They can cross once, they can never cross, or they can cross everywhere. Meaning that there is one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions. Okay, so what does this look like, right? What are the three types of graph, or what are the three types of solving we could have? Well, the first is graphing, obviously, right? You can, you can, graph and see what happens. That one's pretty clear, right? So you can physically see what kind of solution you get from graphing. Can we always tell where the point of intersection is? Um, not if we're graphing by hand, especially if the answers are fractions, but that's when we use Desmos or graphing calculators to help us identify where that solution is. You can also solve by substitution or by uh, elimination is what it's most commonly referred to, but the technical name is linear combination. Um, so substitution is when I'm plugging one equation into the other, and I'll show you that in a separate video. And linear combination is when I'm actually combining the two equations in order to eliminate a variable. Um, and that is another way to algebraically solve. So if I'm solving these, I don't really know what they physically look like. I don't know um, what the graph is going to be. However, what I can do is I can tell from the type of solution that I get what kind of solution it's going to be. So first, right, I'll get an X and a Y value if I'm actually solving it and they cross a point of intersection, right? This would give me X comma Y. Again, most common solution, right? Um, however, if they're going to be the same line, 
then when I'm solving the equations out, I'm going to get a true statement. A true statement is something that is true. We've seen this before when we're testing a point to shade inequalities. Um, if I plug something in and I get zero equals zero, well, that's a true statement. So that means the lines are actually the same. However, if I'm solving and I don't get an X or a Y again, right, I'm getting something different. In fact, something false, like eight equals zero, right? Eight does not equal zero. That's a false statement. Then these lines are going to be parallel and they will never intersect. So again, right, these are just the types of solutions um, that we could possibly get when we're solving a system of equations.